What is up you guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, Sydney and I are heading to my mom's house. We are almost there today. Hopefully you can hear me um, with the wind. Um, but today's my brother's wedding and Sydney's gonna be a flower girl. Wow, overexposed right now. Um, but yeah, we are heading to my mom's house and I'm gonna get ready. My hair fell this morning because it was raining at my house, so I have to do my hair and my makeup. Um, and then we're gonna head, we have a few hours until the wedding. Um, we're gonna have a fun time. We are spending the night at like a bed and breakfast up there um, tonight, there, that way I'm not yelling. And I think it's gonna be fun. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous as far as like being around people goes. Um, but it's an all outdoor wedding, and of course we have our masks and sanitizer just in case. And I know. Well, we'll we're gonna evaluate the situation. Like if we're you know in line to get food or something, we might have to wear a mask. But we will see. Um, I'm really excited. I'm excited for my brother to be to get married. It's gonna be a gorgeous day. It was raining at my house, but it's beautiful here, and I think it's gonna be beautiful. Um, so we've been practicing. City's been practicing being the little flower girl. I'm gonna be able to see some family that obviously haven't seen in a long time. So we are excited, and also my mom um, has had some work done on her kitchen. She's getting a brand new kitchen. Um, so I'm gonna be able to see that. It's not completely done yet. She still has like backsplash and whatnot to um, be installed, but that's gonna be fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's day in the life, different day in the life of a wedding and flower girl. You found a friend? Did you find a friend? Yeah. yeah. So this is my mom's brand new kitchen, still under construction a little bit, but look at that. It's gonna look so good. She's getting a backsplash going in there. I think the um, herringbone like pattern. Look at mommy, she's making a movie. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's gonna look so good. Brand new floors. Hey, where's Aunt Donna? Okay, so we just arrived at the bed and breakfast that we are gonna stay at for the evening. Um, of course, mama has sanitizing wipes, hand sanitizer, and I'm just gonna like make sure everything's extra clean, which it is already really clean, I'm sure. Um, and then Sydney's gonna sleep on this little bed this evening. So this is where we are getting ready for the wedding, huh? Mama's sleeping, mama. mama is gonna sleep over here, and maybe Brianna is gonna sleep on that bed. And then Sydney's gonna sleep on that bed. Yeah, does that sound fun? Okay. okay, let's go look at the bathroom. And then this is the bathroom we've got to get ready in. And we have our dresses all lined up and ready. What do you think? That's a shower. Oh look, see, they already have hand sanitizer and wipes all ready for us. And then mama has to do her hair because my hair fell. <laughs> She's gonna cry already. Look at her. Go, mom. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Sydney. What do you think of Mimi? Does Mimi look gorgeous? Okay, come here. Everyone's gonna love it. Everybody. Okay. Whoops. Let me see you. Oh. Can I show everybody this? Let me see. Let me see. Oh. Do a spin. Ready. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh. <laughs> all right, we're all ready. 
You gotta dance with us tonight? She found a pretty rock. Oh. We're getting ready to meet the bride and the bridal party. Oh, and how cute is this? I love it. And the guys are just gave my friend. Hey. The line is different in my head. I'm a coward and I know it. In the corner, always playing it safe. Today I'm trying something else. I put my fears on the shelf. And the boys is down and I'm safe and sound. And I know I'm Something new to happen You gotta change it all pattern It's not a hard thing to understand no. Some people waste their lives Doing things they just don't like But you can fail in doing what you hate Why not try to stick to doing what you love Today I'm trying something else I put my fears on the shelf And the voice is down and I'm safe and sound And I know I'm is what time is it we just, we're just getting back 11 13 the latest she's ever stayed up i think but we are toast i am so tired oh my throat hurts from singing and dancing and talking and whew. good morning say good morning she's all wild and happy to be awake we've got some breakfast coming we are awake and ready for breakfast Oops, I'm in your way. Isn't it pretty? Ooh, nice. I got mine in my pocket. Nice. Oh, lovely. Yeah, I love it. Enjoyed this too. Sydney's first Fruit Loops, and she's loving them. She's a bird anyway. But but I get it. I think she thought things were coming tomorrow. She got all like all lovey when she knew she wasn't coming with us and that she was okay to stay there. Mm -hmm. She felt I think she felt a little guilty. Good morning, I'm you guys. I'm eating, I'm eating. Sydney's eating. I still feel like I have no voice from the wedding and we are two days like today's Monday today's Monday oh my goodness and the wedding was Saturday um wow were we exhausted Sydney ended up partying until like 1 a.m. almost I cannot believe it it's the wedding I'm gonna go to the wedding again no the wedding's all over and she did amazing. I will like get ready and then talk to you guys a little bit later. But we are Monday morning and it's like oh. almost 10 a.m. And I'm just drinking my coffee and Sydney's having her breakfast. Oh, it's 9.40. Um, and we slept in. Sydney slept the entire ride home yesterday. And that's the only time she slept. I mean, obviously she slept in the bed and breakfast. But only from like 1 in the morning till 7.30. She woke up at 7.30, of course. Because you know how kids wake up at the same time every morning pretty much. Um, but she was in very good spirits and like so happy and didn't want to go to sleep. So I was like, my whole family was like, this never happens. It's like, just let her have fun. And so we did. And it's, she just had such a blast. Um, and then we played at my mom's house yesterday and had like a pool day and just hung out with my family. And it was such an amazing weekend. We haven't had a relaxing like long family weekend forever, um, especially with COVID and everything. But yeah, oh, it was an amazing weekend. Oh my word, I just realized the sun was in my face the whole time. I need to wash my face and clean my house. I left my house a mess, so I came home to a messy house, which I hate, but I just wanted to say hello. <sighs> I still feel like I'm recovering. We slept in so much today. Sydney ended up sleeping the whole car ride home, so from like 6.15 at night until we got home around, no, 5.15, we got home around 6.15, and then she was in bed at 6.45 um, and passed out. So she's currently eating some blackberries that came from my mom's house. She has a blackberry bush, so it was so nice. Um, 
and I'm just gonna be chugging my coffee all day. Cheers. We got to take home a fern, some of us. They had these hanging in the little like uh, reception area. So I got to take home my first fern. I'm so excited to have one. I need to find a spot to put it and like either, I don't know if I'm gonna hang it or just put it on a shelf. I'll probably find a spot where I can hang it and um, I, I don't know, it's a little, it was in my car for two days with the heat, so I just sprayed it with the mister, like a little mister, because I know like the humidity, but I've got to also kind of figure out how to take care of it. Um, I don't know, we will see, but it's my first fern, and it's a really big one, so I'm so excited. I don't know if I'm gonna put it in my bedroom or find a spot in my living room, but I'm so excited to finally have some house plants. Um, just for greenery and for fresh air and whatnot, but I love it. I love it. I love it. I hope it does fine. Look at my babies up here. <laughs> Today for lunch, um, I made Sydney, sandwich, Sydney and I sandwiches and I used a tomato that we grew and these are obviously the tomatoes we grew. This one had fallen off, so this one's just starting to turn um, or to ripen and then these ones are nice and ripe. I don't know though. These are my first succulents. So this came from the wedding so this is the um this was their like i don't know wedding gift or whatever you call it so so sweet so that's my second succulent this is the first one that i got a few weeks ago or a couple weeks ago and i don't know if i'm doing it right this one so many leaves keep from the bottom which i know is sort of normal but so many leaves from the bottom keep drying up and shriveling up and i just don't know so i don't know if that's it feels like it's happening rapidly, but I'm watering it once a week and I have looked into kind of how to take care of them and I'm trying to make sure that it gets enough light. This is the only window in my house that gets light, so I don't really have another spot for it, so I don't know, but this one's, the leaves are kind of browning on the bottom too. Anyway, if you know anything about succulents, like, let me know if that's normal or not. You know, I just feel like that one right there is not doing well. I don't know. No. Oh, Sydney and I played out. Well, I let her play outside for a long time today while I just kind of raked the yard and then chilled and sat with her. And that is about it. So now she is relaxing, watching a little bit of TV, and I have to cook dinner. Honestly, I have no desire to cook dinner, but I am out of all of my convenient meals. So I think I'm going to make a. Um, I have a fry, the fried rice that I got from Trader Joe's. Yeah, I have this Japanese fried rice, vegetable like fried rice, um, that I got from Trader Joe's. So I have like half a pack left. So I think I'm gonna saute up some chicken or like brown up some chicken and then make this and have um, a little stir fry or uh, fried rice type of a, a dinner. Scramble up an egg, do some chicken and um, what else? Some Thai chili sauce. Anyway, so. A really easy kind of convenient meal but I really don't feel like cooking um, what else yeah Sydney's kind of hanging in there I think we'll do an early bedtime for her again um, so she got really good sleep last night but you know I think it's gonna take her a couple of days to recover and then as far as I go yeah I got a lot of sleep last night too I went to bed very early for myself but I'm still trying to recover I'm just exhausted you know you know don't recover as much as I used to when I was little <sighs> I'm putting off cooking because I really don't want to. Um, I feel like I was gonna tell you guys so much or talk to you guys so much. Yeah, Sydney did so good going down the aisle. I honestly didn't think she would do very well because I, I, she's not like shy, but you know, with people kind of staring at her, all strangers that she didn't know, I didn't know how she would do. She did absolutely incredible. She ended up walking down with a little ring bearer. The ring bearer was nine though, so he was like, I got this. Um, but I think she would have been completely fine if she did it by herself. But it was just so cute. It was so cute. She wanted to keep sprinkling. She said she had more flowers in her bucket when at the end. Um, and she kept saying, I want to sprinkle more. So she ended up sprinkling when everyone, you know, when they announced like husband and wife and everyone kind of walks down the aisle, she was walking down throwing all the flowers. It was adorable. <laughs> From the sunshine on my face So dehydrated, don't know what to say Who was sleeping by my side? What did I do last night? Can someone make this headache go away? 
Yesterday was supposed to be quiet Being to myself and sit in silence Until With dinner I came up with something Hopefully it's good, Sydney's still not closed <laughs> Is it yummy, baby? Mm-mm No? Mm-hmm Okay, good Alright, you guys, I just want to thank you for watching And for loving on my family this weekend You guys have been so amazing I know I haven't been able to get back to very many of you in DMs, but you guys know why. I just want to say thank you. You guys are so appreciated. I love that you're congratulating my brother and like saying how everyone looks so beautiful and how amazing it was and how just supportive you guys are. It is nine o'clock and I am going to bed immediately <laughs> three hours before i ever usually go to bed but again i just need to rest up so that i can have a really productive week so i'll talk to you guys in the next video um i'm still going to be trying to get three videos up this week for you guys okay see you in the next one bye